What's going on everyone? Tanner from Massonomics coming to you live from the Massonomics gym, the strongest gym in Western Northeast South Dakota. This video, I just wanna run through the new equipment that we've got since the last time I did a video when I showed you the new equipment we got. So that one was in June 15th is when that one was published. Right now it's mid end, end of September. So it's kind of like what we've got here new over the last three months. And try to do these about every three months, maybe put out about four of them a year. Uh, we're always getting new stuff, so it's fun to check out what we've got coming in. First thing, well, here I'm leaning on a couple of the things right here. Uh, this right here is the 29 millimeter Texas Power Bar. Obviously, Texas Power Bars released these just this year. Uh, this is black zinc. The one we went with is black zinc with the chrome sleeves. You know, it's the 29 millimeter, and when we unpacked this one, the first thing I thought, and everyone that thought is, man, this knurling is freaking sharp. New out of the box, it is just, it is crazy how sharp the knurling really is on, on these when they're new. In contrast, the other new bar we got over that period of time, which, so yeah, in the last three months, we got a couple new bars. Tommy and I had joked about how many bars we're gonna get in 2023, and I said like three. Well, we've got like 10 new ones so far, but this is a new old bar. Also a Texas Power Bar. Here we've got the newest in their lineup, uh, and this is actually kind of the oldest. This is a first gen, first generation Texas Power Bar that I got used. Uh, had the hookup on this one. Was able to get this shipped out to me in South Dakota. Uh, it's a big Efren that had this actually. For anyone that follows some vintage weights people, and uh, it's kind of funny to feel the knurling on these two in contrast. This old. Uh, early 1980s Texas Power Bar compared to this one. This still is a very usable bar though. I've actually, partly because of the novelty of it, I've, I've tested it out and used it some, and I, I do actually like, I enjoy using this old Texas Power Bar, but the knurling definitely is a stark contrast compared to this new one. So as I'm showing you everything, we'll just kind of walk around the gym and go to where the equipment is. But the next thing here is I had another gun rack. So now we've got, three, six, nine, 12. There's actually uh, the four three bar gun racks. So I expanded this, moved this up. So we've got 12 horizontal barbell storage options right on this, on this wall in between the benches. And that gun rack barbell holder isn't the only barbell storage we upgraded this time. Actually our buddy over at Freedom Fitness Equipment, make sure to check him out. He sent us this 10 bar horizontal freestanding barbell holder. I'd mentioned that, you know, I, I like the horizontal barbell storage but we have limited wall space here at the gym because we hang so much shit up on the walls all the time. So he hooked us up with this freestanding one, which I kind of stuffed along this wall uh, behind one of the main squat racks. And I like it. It's almost like a uh, decoration too, where you got just a whole bunch of barbells behind you every time you're squatting. So uh, this is cool. They put the Massonomics magnet on it. Um, I really like this option. And now we've got so much additional barbell storage that now we need more barbells. A couple other smaller things we got on this side of the gym too. That first is this hip thrust pad that we got from Abmat. This is actually per request of Larry Legend. For anyone that's been a Massonomics gym fan for a while, you of course know Larry Legend and he's got to get his hip thrusts in. So there's that. Then uh, from Surplus Strength, we got these mag pins, these, these uh, magnetic speed pins that fit in our one inch racks. You can use them for a few different attachments. I don't know, I haven't figured out exactly what you use them for yet, but. I like uh, Jason in this company, so just wanted to support him, honestly. Oh, before I forget, I don't know if these are necessarily new to the gym, but I did add some more. The drink spotter light. You can never take drink safety too seriously in the gym, and I felt like uh, maybe we were even guilty at times of not having enough drink spotters around. So I threw a, th threw a few more in here uh, just so people have no excuse but not to stay, stay safe when they're drinking in the gym. Now we moved over to the front half of the gym, got some new stuff going on here. The biggest thing you'll see behind me is this red wall control. We didn't have any of this before. Got uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 panels of that. Actually have nine more coming uh, to go on the other side where, where we hang all the belts. But I have really liked this metal red powder coated wall control. It works better for organizing all of our attachments grip training, uh, cable attachments, all that stuff. And I just think it looks cooler. It ties the room together a little bit, so to say. And as long as we're over here, here's a few small items. This Tib Bar Guy Tibia Trainer. Had a few morning crew guys that wanted that. It lives up there nicely on the wall control. Here is uh, 
the big pee pee from our friends over at the Grip Genie because uh, of course, why wouldn't you need a giant pee pee in the gym for training your grip? And to complement that, the yin to the yang, if you will, is the, the peach grip training tool. Got a lot of chalk on them because they get used. We use our weights around here at Massonomics Gym. They're not just for show. I think that's most of the new stuff there. Let's check out over here. Okay, for these ones, I'm not gonna drag them out. They're too damn heavy. So I'm just gonna bend over here and try and get in the frame, but got the 100 pound York Roundhead dumbbells. Anyone that's been following along knows that I've been uh, working on filling out this set of uh, vintage York Roundhead dumbbells all the way from one up to 100. So we got the big daddies here, the 100 pounders, got those uh, from Minneapolis. Sergeant Anderson took a road trip and picked those up for me, so it's cool. Down now to just uh, 80 pairs of 80s, 85, 90, and 95, and a single nine. I've got one nine, so I just need, uh, that's nine dumbbells total, and I can completely fill out this set. But the quest goes on. Stay tuned to see if I ever actually finish. Upgraded the stereo. Everyone always wants to know about the stereo in Massonomics Gym. This is actually our old stereo, our old amp or old receiver. The new one broke. We pulled the old one out of retirement, got it fixed up, working better than ever. So we're jamming to tunes like we've never jammed to tunes before in here. And of course, you know we keep these old iPod touches on us at all times. One more thing on weights, when Sergeant Anderson was picking up those 100 pound York roundheads, he also, there was someone nearby that was selling some 25, pairs of 25 milled Yorks. I had him snag, what did we get? One, two, five pairs. I had him snag five pairs of milled 25 Yorks. And not that we necessarily needed them, but I just wanted to fill out these racks a little bit better where all of our older milled Yorks are at and uh, turned out great. Love them, can never have too much weight. It's the bread and butter of the gym. Barbells and weights, bread and butter. Don't forget it. Last thing here, th these are pretty cool. I'm excited to open these up. I really haven't even unboxed these yet. I was waiting for this video to open them up. Uh, barbells, plates, bread and butter. Can never have too much of either, even though we probably have too much of both. But these, uh, what these are, a, a pair of La Masters, 45 pound Olympic deep dish plates. These are made out of California, and uh, they're pretty cool looking. See if you can see that very well. Definitely don't really need these. Just bought the one set of 45s. Just want to add it with our other deep dishes. You know, I've got the Rogue Arnold deep dishes, so we'll throw those over with those uh, with those same deep dish plates. And uh, it's kind of cool. You can see the barbell goes there. It's almost like it's. Uh, whereas wiener would be is what it kind of looks like. A little bit odd, but I do like these and uh, we'll throw them over there. And that is it for this equipment update at Massonomics Gym. We're right here, back where it all started for this video, back to the Texas Power Bar. Uh, roads always kind of lead back to the Texas Power Bar, don't they? Thanks for watching. Make sure to be subscribing to our YouTube channel. We pump out new video on YouTube almost every week. Every once in a while we might miss one, but. Most weeks we'll have a new video for you. We also have the podcast that comes out every single week. Done that now for 391 episodes. I don't see that stopping anytime soon. Make sure you're subscribing there. On the road to 400, we're almost there. Then check out massonomics.com. That's where you can buy our shirts. Uh, I'm wearing a Strength Co. shirt right now, but trust me, we sell shirts. We sell very expensive shorts. We sell the drink spotter like we talked about. And uh, just about anything you want, find it there, massonomics.com. Thank you for watching.